Yeah, to think he did it all for me. Who am I to deserve such dignity? Surely for me, he bore the pain and your such agony. What will I give to him for what he gave to me? Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. You know it's a girl Jojo Sam. If you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, please be sure to subscribe. Remember to like, leave comments down below and click that bell to stay notified whenever Jojo Sam creates and uploads another video. Also be sure to head on over to my second channel, Jojo Sam's cooking channel. And this is the channel where I showcase with you my culinary skills. So be sure to head on over there, do the same thing, like, share, subscribe and comment down below on the contents that have been posted thus far. Easter is coming up and we as believers of Jesus Christ, we observe the season of Lent. So you may ask the question, what is Lent? What is Easter recognized as? Well, Lent is a 40 day season of prayer, fasting and giving of thanks unto God. It's a moment where we take time out to focus on his, his death, his, his crucifixion his death, his burial, and his resurrection. So in all of this, we take time out to focus on the mere fact that Jesus was the lamb that was sacrificed for us and the blood that was shed on the cross now atones our covers and pays for all of our sins. So as you go throughout the season of Lent, as you go throughout Easter, let it be that you make it a focus to focus on Jesus Remember to remember his crucifixion. Remember to remember his death and his resurrection. And if you do have a chance, be sure to engage in communion. You know, Jesus said in his word, do this in remembrance of me. And I'll leave the scripture for reference somewhere on the screen. You know, by Jesus' stripes, by Jesus' blood that was shed on the cross, many of us will receive healing wholeness and completion because Jesus' death was very significant and Jesus' blood that was shed on the cross is powerful and it was powerful in the beginning, it was powerful in history, it was powerful in historical ages and up to today's date it is still powerful. So take part in communion and just take a time to recognize and reminisce of the gift and the thing that God did where he sent his son to die for our sins. He loved us so much in that way. I decided to share a passage of scripture from Matthew 23. <laughs> a passage of scripture from Matthew 26 verses 31 to 45. And I'll be reading from the NIV version. And after which I'll be explaining. It says, Then Jesus told them, This very night, you will fall away on account for me for it is written i will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered but after i have risen i will go ahead of you into galilee peter replied even if all fall away on account of you i will never truly i tell you jesus said to peter this very night before the rooster crows you will disown me three times but Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. Jesus took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, which is James and John, along with him. And he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then Jesus said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, Jesus fell down with his face to the ground and prayed, Father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, 
yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? Jesus asked Peter, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus went on away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When Jesus came back, Jesus again found his disciples sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So Jesus left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then Jesus returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let's go. Here comes my betrayal. These are the words of the Lord we honor by saying, Amen. So Matthew 26 verse 31 to 45 speaks about Jesus. Jesus telling his disciples that the sheep are going to be scattered because the shepherd is soon to be taken away from them. But he will come and meet up with them again in Galilee. So Jesus in this context is the shepherd. The sheep in this context are his disciples. So Jesus was telling them how Peter and many of others of the disciples would have denied him. But Peter was the one who was saying, no, Jesus, I will not deny you. No, Jesus, I will not deny you. But in the end, if we should move and look on scripture, Peter did deny Jesus. But anyways, let's move on to the next part of summarizing this passage. So Jesus went to get Semani and he went with his disciples and he had asked Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John, to join him in prayer. So Jesus brought them with him to a place farther away from the rest of the disciples. And then Jesus said to them, pray here. And, and, and Jesus himself went a little bit further away to pray. And Jesus prayed with the Father. Each time Jesus kept going back and coming to check on the disciples, Jesus was asking as he went away to pray with the Lord to take this cup away. The cup that God, God was to take away that Jesus was asking is so that Jesus didn't have to go through the resurrection and the persecution and the, and the, the hardship that he was about to go through. But each time Jesus went away, his disciples were falling asleep. They were not keeping up their end of the bargain, which was to pray. And so Jesus said to them, watch and pray for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So the betrayer who was about to betray Jesus was about to come in with some other soldiers that were sent with him by the chief priests. So Jesus knew that his betrayer was about to come. And he was praying earnestly unto the Father that he should take this cup, which is that which was about to happen to him away. So Matthew 26 verse 41 says, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus urged the disciples Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John, to watch and pray. Jesus wanted to ask that they pray so that they will not fall into temptation. Jesus may be talking about the temptation to sleep or he might mean the temptation that will soon arrive for them to abandon him because of the danger. Jesus acknowledges that their spirit is willing to do what is right and honorable, but their flesh, it's weak, so it has urges, desires, and it is driven with fear. Jesus' words that were spoken provides a clear instruction for all of us. Because when we encounter battles of temptation, we are tempted to do wrong. This is why Jesus emphasized on praying. Prayer is a God-given weapon against our own sinful desires. God means for believers to overcome temptation in part through urgent and faithful prayer. So if we're not praying, if we're not seeking God, it's easier to fall into temptation. But in constant communication with the Father and asking the Father to be inclusive in everything that we do, 
and helping us along to every hurdles that we experience in life it becomes more easier to stand up in faith speaking and declaring the word of god and believing that we will not fall into that temptation so in this season as you go through lent just be prayerful praying seeking god understanding the father understanding the father's heart and understanding our will for jesus our will for the fathers that we pray we give him thanks we win souls for his kingdom and yes we will encounter temptations along life's way never forget jesus encountered temptations throughout the entire stories of his life we've seen jesus encounter temptations even some i know for sure that we're not recording in the bible but jesus never ceased to pray to the father even when he was about to be persecuted even when it was so hard to pray because jesus felt the weight coming onto him felt the weight of the persecution that was soon to approach him jesus kept on praying to the father if you are weak pray through praying you will receive strength if you're feeling as though you're feeling disappointed through prayer you will receive the oil of joy if you're feeling as though god i can't be bothered anymore take this cup away from me like oh jesus requested if you pray you will come to the submission of saying lord even though i want you to take this cup away like jesus said to the father let your will be done you will come to that place of total surrender and saying lord even though i go to what i go to let your will be done if it's to build me up to break me down to make me into the person you want me to be to let your will be done in me and for your name to be glorified let your will be done so as you go through the season of lent look at it as jesus going through something but still pushing still praying and reminisce on this particular verse pray for the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak pray pull your spirit into praying and focus on god even as you go through the lent season i forgot to mention this at the first part of my video in the season of lent we also focus on the passover the passover is a feast that was instructed to be continuously observed even up to today's date by the word of god in the book of leviticus and exodus and deuteronomy there we can see um the feast being observed and the commandment that is required of us to continue to observe it so you observe this passover and during this passover as mentioned keep that communion drink of jesus's blood partake with him in supper eat of jesus's body breaking bread not not physically eating of jesus's body but doing communion as a symbolism that you're doing it you're eating jesus's body and drinking of his blood then the bible says we will have eternal life we will have access to eternity i'll put the scripture somewhere up here for you to see and actually be convinced but be blessed all right guys thank you so much for choosing today's video be blessed stay safe and know that jojo sam loves and appreciates you always do not be discouraged be encouraged continue in prayer even when it's hard push and pray until you feel yourself soaring and going higher